most of the analysis shows Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia have the greatest problems in terms of bringing a balance between human numbers and the human capacity to grow food. In other words, the demographic profile versus the food security profile, both of them have to be harmonized, otherwise you have a problem. But today I thought I will, being essentially a scientist and a geneticist, I will talk about some aspects of science and technology and public policy, because technology without public policy will not uh, help at all. The synergy between technology and public policy was really responsible for what you call green revolution, or higher, green revolution is another term for higher production through productivity improvement, not through area expansion, but through productivity improvement, uh, coined in 1968 by Mr. William Gard of the United States. It became a very popular term because the world was in need of a good message at that time. The most powerful among existing technologies uh, is information communication technology, ICT, uh, largely because most of the ecologically sound practices are knowledge intensive. They are not chemical intensive, they are not capital intensive, but they are knowledge intensive. You need the right information at the right time, at the right place, and so on. So the information, modern information and communication technology uh, has become a very powerful tool of not only getting market information or meteorological information, farmers require meteorological information and market information. Both of them are exceedingly important for them, how the weather is going to be and what the markets are likely to be. These two information is important. Apart from that, the cultivation, the crops and the management of the pests and so on. So the information and communication technology, whenever we say green revolution, uh, it means it's not an evolutionary, it's not 3% growth, 4% growth. It's a doubling of the production, for example, in India. And that has three important ingredients. Technology is a prime mode of change. Public policy, which without which you can't have technology spread. Scaling up is necessary for public policy. And above all, in agriculture where farming is an, the greatest private sector enterprise in the world, in India, for example, it is the biggest private sector enterprise. Many people don't take it as a, uh, because nearly 110 million families are involved in farming, and they all own their land. China has still social ownership of land, but in most of the other countries, the land is owned by the farmers.